A few days ago, Republican presidential frontrunner Donald Trump caused an uproar. Within moments, nearly everyone from every part of the political spectrum denounced the comments for what they were. What was proposed yesterday is not what this party stands for, and more importantly, it's not what this country stands for. Racist, Islamophobic, irrational, and flat out despicable. Of course, this is nothing new for Donald Trump, whose candidacy is based on undeveloped and unworkable policies that play on the fears of the uninformed and the vulnerable. The fact that his proposals violate not only human decency, but also the Constitution, well, that's nothing more than a minor detail to Trump's campaign of fascism. But I'm tired of criticizing Donald Trump for his feelings about Arabs and Muslims. Not because he doesn't deserve it, but because in the midst of our righteous outrage against Mr. Trump, we're losing sight of a more sobering truth. And that truth is that, as a country, we're not much better than Trump is when it comes to the treatment of Muslims around the globe. Long before Trump was a political contender, the U.S. government was invading Iraq under President Bush. With a combination of lies and bad information, we tore apart the country and further disrupted the balance of sectarian power in the region. Then, under President Obama, we failed to properly check new Iraqi leadership. And then, we drew down necessary security forces, which left a gap for ISIS to fill. When Donald Trump was a mere reality star, the U.S. was engaged in a set of political decisions and non-decisions that helped foment the crisis in Syria. From our failure to properly check Bashar al-Assad, to our funding of proxy wars and untrustworthy opposition forces, we have helped create the environment from which millions of Syrians are now desperately fleeing. As much as Trump's comments promote the agenda of terrorism, which preaches that America hates Muslims, this work has been done far more effectively through our vicious predator drone attacks in Yemen and Pakistan, which have radicalized many otherwise neutral Muslims. As hurtful as Trump's remarks are, they are just words, as opposed to the consistent pattern of torture and abuse that we see in places like Guantanamo and Abu Ghraib. Trump's promotion of Obama mall foreign policy, it's nothing but mere political chatter, as opposed to our country's actual practice of funding the weapons of disproportionate force in Gaza. Trump's anti-Muslim words are a problem, no doubt, but we should use this moment as an opportunity to actually reflect on the ways that our real life policies and practices create far more danger to Muslims around the globe. Hopefully, we have much more outrage left over for that. I'm Mark Lamont Hill.